Szerintem Dorothy Sprattle-val folytassuk a harcot. Csinálj már! Itt szemétkedsz mindig! Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Bottle? Okay. Wonder who lived there. Thank you for all that you've done for us. What are you looking for exactly? Spider thing. Thank you for passing through. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Bottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawklumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Bottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potions. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. 
Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Oh. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. All right, so Homecraft, okay. This is she then. Nézd meg, mondd hogy hol lett talán. Most így kettő van. Ezt nem értem. This must be the cavern Mrs. Brottle mentioned. Hall Clam Hall of Tolana Sokatish to Nitolani of Ton. Remyan. Perhaps I'll find more hawk lumps while I'm there. Better have a look around. See about the hawk lumps and the box of letters. Couldn't bring up. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Igen, fogja megmondani, hogy van itt a collection chest. Minél többet gyűjtsünk. De akkor ez a meg is van. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. I want to get out of that again! One less foul hulking brute. Jó, tettem, hogy vártam ezzel. Pontosan ilyen sejtekkel kell tartogatni ezt is. Titani? Tutta, tutta. Mi menni kell, de meg kell tudnom, hogy a másik oldalon mi van. Zsák utca. Hát, hogyha visszatérjek ide, remélem, hogy többet fogok találni itt. Hm. 
<gül> Tehát nem elfelejteni. Aki dró akarcon inkább, akkor az az ávára kell ábrát tölte. Nem lesz könnyű dolga. De hogy ki nem akarja alkalmazni az ávára kell ábrát, az inkább játsza story módban. Igen, ez egy meleg volt a háva. Nézz. Ez egy étlen kiállt akkor. Ez komoly. Ja, ja, még ott is van. Akkor menjünk le. Ja, hogy egy igen, de pósnyom. De nem is kell az. This must be Sorona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. Ah, the end. Just hold your mind. I'm not taking any damage. Quite some chest. I'm sad. I'm. The who can you shock, Belda? Revelio. Igen, ott vannak fönt, de hogy jutok fel? Ott is van valami. Spinner's Cavern.
Kom gewoon weer ik moos. Maar het is gelijk al af, doe dan. Ik denk dat ik hier ook een keer een bombaard heb. Goed voor je. Ik heb het laatste, maar ik neem het toch weer. Revelio. Bombaard. Passa meg! Ma megint! Lumos. Ma megint nem vettem észre. Rebellion. Nem itt van. Erre mi nem volt. Ez mi nem szettem fel. Revelio. Revelio. Hogy így vissza lehet menni. Fáj! Azt még mi? Na, az semmi. Fel nem lehet menni. Tutto. Lì è tutto. Rebellio. Io. Ah, te. Hát jól el voltál rejtőzve, az biztos.
mint alkohol. Most szöktöm ezt érzem. Revelio. Milyen helyről fontos? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. Was the Ravenclaw seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. Yeah. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. Hey, I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. She taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... Well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. I don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories.
Hát azt mondom, hogy folytassuk tovább az a Man Behind Boots. Alohomora. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them. So we all started. Yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible so name, you, which so I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I oh, didn't want to walk the... counter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. I thought that. Yo, 
You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our Herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. I can see why he said that. You do seem angry. Of course I'm angry now. In large part due to his absurd overreaction to what is simply passion for my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Thank you, Senor. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? I'll stop where I'd love you. You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula, create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's nasal. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's Venomous Tentacula in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any competition. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Venomous tentacular, Papa. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? <laughs> <laughs> Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her so once a week to brush out on. her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, so the loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit fear. about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. 
How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across it. She was a Bargain. little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her they blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I you're can welcome. always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Keep waiting. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Oh, I could have seen him. Idiota. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Zacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, Boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. 
If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are Bobachubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh. I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that Bobachuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbor discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobachuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvelous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobachubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Spot remove orders. Our spotty class. Counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Come on! That was Marzi do. to do.
skills are wasted doing this. I heard something. Imperial! You're gonna regret coming here. Expulsor! Let me go. Protector! Rebellion. Igen, itt csak sötét varzsotokat használhatok. Egy plusz a konfringot. A lamb to the slaughter. Nem látok semmi. Nem ezt akartam egy jól, de miért volt egyet? to worry about. No, 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 Ez a 
Let me go. Yo. Dragon. Rest easy, my large friend. Kettő trót legyőztem a vadak, én ábrámom! Szebb tovább! I know you're the one who stole our theory. We've been looking for you. Impressive. Ez a bastard, ez a... That's just the beginning. Just a mondogó, a mondogó. Get them out there, they're fast legs. Még nem elég! Basszép mindet! Vagy itt ne hallod! Még egyszer! Majd nem tudsz előse letűtni! Még egyszer! Haszer! Faszer! Köszönöm a segítséget! Ez jó volt, mint az előző. <gül> De hát, ilyen a taktika. Trollen, eszén, périó, csak többen vannak. Ha nincsenek, akkor állad a kérdámra. Megint tette rohadék!
Szóval megvan mind. Ja, értem, azért, mert megcsináltam azt a küldetést. Azért nem csodó nem találtam meg, mert a küldetés még nem jött létre. Jó, közben foglalkozunk a Hogsmeade velével. Itt van 5 Merlin Trial, egy Ancient Meeting Hotspot, egy Landing Platform és két hajas ellenség. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, I might have known. Pigtails Piers. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Huh? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Marvelous, simply marvelous. I've never seen the headmaster so regal. Actually, I have come to think of it. His way of being Scrub's master is indeed regal, sir. You uh, wouldn't mind having a little peep over my. Nam, Nam, sir. Hello, Homora. Mind a fél hat lenne. Köszönöm, 
Ja, ez védett, ilyenre gondol. Ott maradt. Nem, itt nem maradt ott. Hát lássuk, melyikkel folytassuk? Hát ez egy nézőt is. Hát ez egy unikorn. Ez lejjebb van. Nem. Szerintem folytassuk ezzel. Legközelebb. Akkor save. És legközelebb folytatjuk. Szevasztok.